Hey guys, welcome to my channel Code Canvas. In this video, we will see one CSS property, background clip. So the background clip allows you to control how far a background image or color extends beyond or elements content or padding. So in this video, we will see with two examples how this background clip property works. Let's say we have one element and the property we can use is background clip, content box or padding box. These are the possible values. Okay. So let's start with an actual example. So let me inspect this HTML. Here the container class has no border. So first of all, let's add one border here. Border 5 pixel solid red okay. and let's see so here you can see the border here right so with border you can now apply background clip border box that is default value content box see you can see the difference right i will explain what exactly it is green box Okay. So, border box is a default value. This allows the background to extend all the way to outside edge of the element's border. Okay, the next value is padding box. So, padding box cleaves the background at the outside edge of the element's padding and does not let it extend into the border. Okay, the third one is content box, which is clearly visible here. So, content box cleaves the background at the edge of the content box right so you can see here it cleaves the background at the edge of the content box and the last value is inherit and what it does it applies the background clip setting of the parent to the selected element okay so this was the very basic example you can uh, use to explain the background clip CSS property. Okay. Uh, one more thing here by default, uh, background clip border box set the uh, this background, right? The black background extends all the way to the outside edge of the border, right? So when the background clip is chained to padding box, the background color stops where the element's padding ends, right? And with background clip, content box value the background color only applies itself to the divs element to the divs content not element to the divs content right so in this case this value let me show you content box this is the divs content right so uh, this was the explanation yeah one more thing that there is a vendor uh, prefixed version of the this property right that works for clipping a background to the text so uh, we will see with an actual example how this actually works okay so first of all uh, in HTML let me uh, add that HTML here so here I'm adding one uh, let's say h1 hitting one Hello, one br tag so you can see the actual word hello world okay mm, let me add it outside of this team so we can see it clearly so now it is outside of this team okay so in css what we can do Let's say H1 has, uh, let's make it display inline block. Okay. Font size uh, 84 pixel. So you can see the actual font. Let's see if it is applying. Yeah. Right. Uh, line height 0 0.8. Okay. Padding. 20 pixel 
so you can see it clearly here uh, we need to import one font family for that let's go to uh, yeah we already have one font family we can add another yeah let's uh, add it here here let me yeah this is the family font family name okay so once you import this family you can use that font family as the name syncopate let's syncopate and sans serif let's add x transform as uppercase okay let's add background property which we uh, already know radial gradient in gradient you can give the value circle the first value circle uh, far test yeah, far test corner that is the second value at center center and the second value we can use the color the font color white equal one for example and the other properties no repeat this is a background which we can use here you can use background let me write down background clip as text okay but it is vendor specific specific so you have to specify web kit so you can see it working in your web kit browsers like chrome okay similarly WebKit text field color as transparent. Okay, so uh, WebKit background clip. Yeah, this is fine. So let's see how it looks. So uh, to look it better, what we can do here in this view, we can apply a background to black okay. let me uh, add one class here or simply you can add inline css background black okay. so you can see let me make it excellent center that's good so here as you can see the background clip is equal to text if i remove this property you can't see this text right and this is for filling the color but it doesn't matter now background clip text value it is very useful when you uh, I, I mean when you are uh, using this kind of text on your web page right so uh, this text should be transparent which i have already done right so fortunately there is another vendor specific test color property that you uh, you can use to override this color right uh, this is a property webkit background view okay so this was uh, a useful example all right and regarding browser support this property is supported by almost all the browsers ieh firefox chrome and safari and yeah you can use it all right all right guys that's all for this video if you have any question or any feedback please leave your comments below if you are new to my channel you can check out my channel there are a few videos on css3 html javascript node.js as well as on wordpress please subscribe to my channel and keep supporting guys thank you